Liz Peake with me now this uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, Liz, uh, you agree with Nikki Haley, quote, a vote for Biden is a vote for Kamala Harris. You agree with that? I do agree with that, Stuart. As you said, the president looks increasingly frail. Uh, he looks doddering. I mean, most Americans don't think he should be running. Even 44 percent of Democrats think he's really incompetent to stay in the Oval Office for four more years. And so you have to worry if he's like this now, what's he going to be like four years from now? And it's because of his stubbornness and arrogance, qualities that we've just been reading about dominated the decision to get out of Afghanistan in the way we did, the disastrous pullout. He won't step aside, Stuart, even though I think he must be hearing from leaders of the Democratic Party that he has to do that because, guess what? 44 percent of Democrats don't want him to run. Only 13 percent of Democrats want Kamala Harris to run for president. So this uh, vice president that we have is incompetent. And all we need to do is look at her record on the border to make that assessment and to warn off Americans for voting for Joe Biden, because God forbid with Kamala Harris takes over the Oval Office, if the way she treated our open border, the flood of illegal millions of migrants into our country, dismissing that with a sort of hysterical laughter, if that's how she's going to handle the other problems that confront our country, we do not want her in that position. I think we've got a problem. The country has a problem. Liz Peake, thank you very we much do. for being with us. Yeah, we do indeed. Liz, thank you very much.